girl has been so sick. I mean, her and Amber, right? So, Kira, I mean, I think Alice is feeling like, I, I think I need a little vacation. She's been so sick. But look at how beautiful she looks. Look at how beautiful she looks. So I really appreciate her hanging tough with me and showing up no matter what. Alice, why don't you share with us a little bit about yourself and some of your favorite products to help winterize your skin? Okay, so um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Alice Walker, and I've been building my business for technically 21 years, um, but I have been a sales director since 2012, and I, as Gina said, I've had COVID, um, not quite as bad as Amber had it, but it it's not fun, and I am just so thankful that I can get through talking on these zooms without hacking up a lung. So, um, so the makeup does work, as you can see, because I got ready just for this, just for you all. Um, but one of the things with this cold weather that I always deal with is uh, dry, chapped lips, like constantly and I think it's worse when you're sick because you're coughing so you're you're covering your mouth all the time you're using a tissue right and left right so you're always rubbing this area and right in here gets really super dry has anybody ever anybody's yeah. been sick and felt that right yeah. so I can't say enough how much the satin lips makes a huge difference for me um I do not like dry skin dry chapped lips it's just a a thing that I've hated probably my whole life. And I will sit and pick at it because I don't like that scratchy feeling. Um, and that's not good either. And you shouldn't really be touching your lips, right? Your hand, your hands touch all the stuff and then you touch your lips. That's not good. So one of the first products I fell in love with, with Mary Kay was satin lips, and it's only gotten better since then. So we have it in white tea and citrus. Now it used to just be completely uh, fragrance free. And so there was no scent to the lip balm or anything, but this has this light, very light white tea citrus. Um, the, the scrub is made with sugar granules. So when you rub them on, try not to eat them. All those calories will be on you. I warned you, um, <laughs> but you rub it on and then you just wash it off and it fluffs the dead skin off. And then your, your um, lips are able to absorb the lip balm better. And so I like to do it at night when I wash my face, just in general, because then the next day my lipstick wears really nice. But you can imagine when you're sick or coughing or dealing with, you know, lots of tissues, how much um, dryness happens just from rubbing that area, right? So when you are using the satin lips, you can actually use a lip balm as many times as you want throughout the day. So I find myself using lip balm quite a bit. Um, and my lips are so dry, they're just absorbing it in. So a couple things cause that dryness. Like I said, I have this cold, so that's, that's happening, but normally just cold weather or having your heater on in your house, that's going to dry out the air and that's going to cause that too. So there's lots of factors that you can, um, be dealing with, or your customers might be dealing with. Let's say you have a customer who, who does like DoorDash or Uber or something. They spend a lot of time in the car. And with as cold as it is outside, they probably are running their heater. So again, that's that hot air blowing, drying them out while they're sitting in a car. Um, so satin lips is definitely like one of my go-tos for um, keeping my lips, you know, soft and not scratchy in the cold weather. And then also just to help so I don't have that soreness, you know, because when they get really chapped, it does hurt. And you, you're trying to avoid that just from the beginning. So that'd be my first favorite product. And I would recommend that um, to anybody that has to deal with cold weather and, you know, has to deal with uh, any kind of maybe allergies, even allergy season, like satin lips can be used all year long. And um, if you like to ski, you know, you're in that cold snow skiing, same thing. So um, it's definitely one of those products I always keep handy and easy to sell because people, you, most people want that benefit. My second favorite product for winterizing your skin is going to be satin hands. And are we, are we following a theme here? I, I like, to, I like things to be soft, right? Um, I tend to be uh, oily skin. So I tend to use a lot of our, our products for oily skin. However, your hands and your feet um, are not going to be the same as your face, right? So your hands 
I wash my hands a ton. And with COVID, I probably wash my hands two times for every one time I used to, right? So, um, so I definitely um, constantly am using soap and that would actually dry out your hands. So satin hands is amazing to actually, if you can use it to clean your hands, but then you also use that, that um, hand lotion and that hand lotion is the best hand lotion on the market. So I'll be the person that would lotion and then wash the lotion off my hands because I don't like tacky feeling, right? I don't know if, if that's you, but that's, I don't like that sticky feeling. I like my hands to feel clean. And so that, that would be why I wash so many times. So with satin hands, our hand lotion actually absorbs in, right? So when it's on my hands, it absorbs in and it's not tacky feeling. I don't feel like I need to go wash. Um, so it is the only hand lotion I've ever tried. I mean, I love like I've gone to all those contraband stores before I sold Mary Kay. I bought all those other lotions and they would be great on your body, but I would go wash it off my hands because it wouldn't absorb in. Then I then I became a Mary Kay consultant, started trying all the products and the Mary Kay satin hand hand cream is the only one that has ever absorbed in. So you rub it on and then I don't feel it still. And so that to me was the biggest selling point. Then the other thing that you can do with satin hands is use it on your feet. So if you like to wear slippers around your house or sandals in the summer, then you can start using satin hands on your feet and then you have soft feet too, right? So you don't just have to go get a pedicure to get soft feet. You can actually take care of it at home and then do the pedicures for a pampering treatment outside, right? Good job, Jamel, yes. Um, so I keep the first two steps in my shower so I can do my hands and feet together and rinse it off. And then when I get out, I lotion everything. So that is a great way to do hands and feet. Um, and when I used to work, at San Leandro Hospital, I was a, while I was in college, I was a medical records clerk there. I met a lot of nurses and the same thing. It was like their favorite product because the, all the antibacterial soaps that they were using were um, continuously drying them out. So this was like one of the first things I sold. So if you're a new consultant and you show satin hands to somebody, especially somebody who has, um, you know, deals if she's in the nursing field or a teacher who maybe is always washing her hands because she's around kids um, or, you know, somebody that works like a chef. Um, so they're working with food, you know, any of those people, if you do satin hands on them, they're going to buy it because how amazing their hands feel. And then you could tell them bonus, you could use this on your feet. Okay. So um, satin hands is my second go-to um, just for soft skin and to keep myself moisturized. Um, so it's again for your body, not going to go on your face, right? You're not going to use the, um, the scrub. I guess you could use the satin hand scrub portion in the shower on your body, but I like our, our satin body for that. Um, and then my third go-to when it's cold, like it is right now is extra emollient night cream. Now, remember I told you all I have oily skin. And so you'd be like, why would she use extra emollient night cream? Um, but extra emollient night cream is one of my, um, one of my favorites for just really hydrating the face. So I would never wear it out of my house. Like nobody would ever see me put it on and, and wear it out because it is, I am oily. So it, it feels a little heavy, but at night, I like to put it on um, after I've washed my face when it's really cold um, for this area. Remember I told you whenever you're blowing your nose a lot, this area gets all dry. So I've been doing the extra emollient night cream ever since I had this cold and, um, and none of this is peeling. So I'm going to attribute it to that. Um, normally that area would be very irritated and dry from all the tissues I've been going through. Um, all the coughing and covering my, <clears throat> covering my, you know, face and whatnot. Um, but at night after I wash, normally I would do, um, either the repair night cream or I'm using clinical solutions. So that's what I typically am doing, but what I've been doing since I've been sick and it's cold is I've been adding on top of the clinical solutions on top of the calming milk, I add a little extra emollient night cream. So, um, three nights a week, I'm doing that. 
And then on the other night, I'm using the, extra, the repair night cream. So I'm kind of alternating which night cream I'm using, but that additional hydration is helping so that I don't get all dried out. So I'm not even peeling all of this. I mean, I have makeup on, but it wouldn't wear so smoothly if I had a bunch of stuff going on. And I want to attribute the fact that I don't have all of that happening to the three, the three things I just talked about. So I'm doing satin hands. Um, I'm doing satin lips and then I'm doing extra emollient night cream. So if you haven't tried extra emollient night cream, that product's been around. It's like one of the products that has been around the longest. And I have customers that swear by it. I have this one lady who has been my customer for the last 10 years and she orders that faithfully. And she uses the uh, cleanser, the 3d cleanser, <clears throat> which I had to move her over to because she used to use the old time wise and the extra million night cream. And then she uses a day cream. So she swears by that product for the, for the longest time since I met her. Um, and I decided when I was dry one time to give it a try. And honestly, my face felt amazing. And then as you can see, um, it's, it's handling, it's weathering my cold. Well, <laughs> so hopefully you've learned about three new products. Um, and if you, if you already knew about them, great. If you didn't, I hope you pull them out of your inventory and try them. And if you're a customer tonight on here and, um, and your consultant is on here, um, let her know which one, you know, you're most excited about giving a shot, giving a try of. Okay. So I'm going to turn it back to Gina for her three favorite winter products. If she's here. <laughs> uh, I am here. Okay. I'm like, she's gone. <laughs> I left you. No. Hey, so in the chat, okay, what was there a new product that you learned about tonight, consultants, or even Carol? Carol, um, you can put some stuff in the chat or you can um, uh, unmute, but uh, for the consultants, did you learn about a new product tonight? Yes or no? Yes or no? You know, I'm in a reactive. I need some action in the chat or I need some visualization. Night cream. Teresa, thank you. Thank you. The night cream. All right. What other product was new that you're like, oh, I didn't know that that's, that's how it worked. Did you like Alice's tips? Because she has been recovering. And so she's, look at how great. Her skin is hydrated. No red, irritated nose. She has a nice glow about her right? I knew about the emollient cream, but I had forgotten about using it and um, when it's so cold. Another tip for the emollient uh, cream like Alice, I raised, uh, well, hers is much younger, minus 23, but you know, boys are rough. They cut, they burn, they jump, right? So the extra emollient is actually so rich. It's great for cuts and burns, and uh, for healing because it forms a barrier as mainly petroleum. And so that um, encourages moisture and healing. And um, when I first bought this house, we changed from an electric stove to a gas stove. And so I was forgetting and I was reaching over. And so I would often find like little flame marks that Jamel knows what I'm talking about. So the extra emollient just moved into the kitchen cabinet um, along with the uh, ice to help with that because I was constantly abusing my skin. Very good. Thank you, Alice. Thank you for those tips. Okay. So any questions or comments so far? Carol, what are you thinking? Did you like any of those products? You're like, oh, that's oh, yeah. I ahead. didn't know about the multiple uses of the night of the emollient night cream. Yes, it is. It is amazing. And it's one of like Alice said, uh, is one of our original formulas. It's never been changed. Mary Kay invented that for herself because she, unlike Alice and I, who are combination oily, she had dry skin. So she, that extra emollient, she actually, that's why it's called the night cream. It was her night cream for really dry skin. And my grandmother um, also is over hundred years old and she uses the extra emollient night cream all over, head to toe, mm -hmm. head to toe. So she's one of my great customers when it comes to that, she just gets them in multiples for me because that's all she swears by. Great. And Teresa shares she uses a satin lips. It's excellent. 
is really great to, to help with that buildup. Okay, so I'm just checking the time. I've got a couple of minutes to share some of my favorite um, winterized, winterizing products. And so the first one is, uh, you guys notice I have a little bit of the big hair going on. And uh, I also alluded to the fact that it's been cold. So my husband allowed me to turn on the heater because he's like, oh, this house is so big, right? But I'm like, I am cold. But also when it's cold, my hair gets frizzy because the dryness and the heat, it makes it a little frizzy. So one of my favorite products to winterize head to toe is one of our newer products is the Mary Kay Naturally Oil, right? The Magical Serum. I love it. What I love about this is that it's derived from nature. It's certifiable in nature. We paid a big time company to certify that this was truly, we can really call it a natural or a botanical product. I love it. I wish they would make a bigger bottle for me, mm -hmm. but you know, it's a dry oil. First of all, the aroma, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Okay. Why does it smell amazing? Because it has almond, the same stuff that they use cookies. Uh, Alice knows about that. It has uh, almond oil, olive oil, and sesame oil. The other thing, so that itself makes it just yummy, right? But it's not for your mouth, it's for your skin, it's for your hair, it's for anywhere that you want to add a little hydration, but not have that heavy after finish like Alice was talking about. This is a dry oil. So I love to take the little dropper and like most of our Mary Kay products, did you guys notice the shape of the dropper is a little bit of an angle. So it encourages that one or two drops. Then I take it like this. I smell that almond and that olive oil. And then I just start scrunching it into my hair. What is it going to do? It's a dry oil, so it's going to be light. It's not going to weigh my curls down. It smells great. So it feels like maybe I just shampooed my hair, right? <laughs> right? And it gives a really nice shine. And it helps keep the frizz down and encourages the curl. Just a couple of drops. You can also take a little drops massage it into your scalp, right? If you're finding that your scalp, this might be a little bit dry because you're wearing the hats or you're just in the weather. It's an amazing, I love it. So I use it on my hair. I use it on my face, even though I'm an oily skin, it just leaves such a nice glow. I love to take one of these little drops. It measures exactly this uh, uh, drop. See how you just turn it? One exactly. And I don't want to waste any of this golden stuff right here, right? Also great for your cuticles, just like the extra emollient, right? Great for your face and anywhere in your body, you're gonna have that nice glow, hydrated, hydration on anywhere on your body, head to glow. So I love it. The nourish, the naturally nourishing oil leaves your skin feeling super hydrated and nourished. It absorbs quickly, feels lightweight. It's free of parabens. So for all the naturally that is important, free of parabens, um, synthetic fragrance, the SLS and the SLES. I don't know what that is, but it's bad. It's not in this one. Okay. And, um, and it's just all naturally. So I love it. Right. It smells great. Uh, my husband likes to use it on his beard. Uh, even though we had the beard oil for a little bit, they love to use it. My husband and my son on their beard, shiny, soft, and helps with the ingrown hairs because is moisturizing the follicles and the pores around that. So that's my first product. My next product is this one. Oh my gosh. First of all, look at this beautiful lavender color, right? Look at this packaging. You know, it's going to be on your dresser or on your bathroom. It's like, got to look pretty. Then you open it up and it's this whipped, whipped cream. And what is this amazing product? This is our oil-free hydrating gel. We have two formulas. The other one is pink. It's a much denser formula, but this is the oil-free hydrating gel. Non-greasy, important for us with combination and oily skin. And it's a gel, so it absorbs really quickly. And it's gonna leave your skin feeling cool and refreshed. But the big bang for your buck on this one is that it's gonna hydrate your skin for up to 10 hours. Oil-free, lightweight, right? This is great for customers. It says normal to oily skin. So that's everybody. 
Even my customers with drier skin, they prefer this formulation because it's gel and lightweight opposite the other, which is a heavier cream, much more like the texture of the extra emollient. So uh, it has green tea extract, which is known to soothe and calm the skin and also antioxidants. It's a conditioner really for your skin. Um, and it's just gonna help your skin look softer and smoother. And it's so soft and I love the color, right? I love the color because it just feels like, ah, oh, I'm really pampering myself with lavender cream or something like that. You're gonna use this every night or every day. Um, I sometimes mix this or I take a drop of my oil and I mix it with my foundation because I want that extra hydration nowadays. And when your skin is hydrating with layers, with products like this, it's actually another barrier to protect you against the, um, the environment. So far, so good. What do you guys think? I see some comments here in the chat. My favorite, I use the pink and my husband uses the purple. There you go. Exactly, right? And you know, this is for the face. It says oil-free hydrating gel. It doesn't say facial hydrating gel. So there's other... You can use this anywhere in your body you like. Skin is skin. So if you like the feeling on your face, imagine where else your skin would love that. Okay, oil-free hydrating gel. Does anybody know how much this is, consultants? I think it's uh, 32. It's 32, right? It's 32. All right. And then my last one, you know, we've been talking all about the face a little bit. So my last one, and um, Alice was on it is I love the Mary Kay satin body, satin body, right? And my cream that I go through and I bling mine out because I love to have it sitting pretty on my bathroom is our satin body whipped shea cream. So if you want to pronounce it, like it says here, whipped shea creme, it says here, right? Creme, it sounds yummier when you pronounce it with the French accent, right? And I'm opening a brand new one, right? And just looking at this, it's like, oh my gosh, it's so soothing if I can open it. I just had my nails cut back, so they're kind of dull, but it's this whipped texture. And I wanna do it like I usually would if my camera wasn't on here. So you might have to take my word for it. Um, it's whipped inside. It's a super rich cream. I love it. And it's for the body from the neck down. You wouldn't want to put this on your face, but it's from your neck down, super rich whipped shea cream. So it has the shea uh, uh, nut in it. And it's just a super luxurious, just body whipped cream. Just feels really great when you're stepping out of the shower. I love the way it smells here. I did it. I love the way it smells. And look at this, just whipped. Can you see that? Just super rich. I just go whoop like that, put some on, and I usually start up and down my arm, up and down my arm, and then you know you know all the spots you need to go. But I go through this, um, a couple of these containers, about every four or five weeks, because I am the cream, the cream girl. I just love to luxuriate and hydrate and pamper. And so this is for your body. We talked about the face, and this is for hydrating your body. And it's just an extra treat. So those are my three favorite. How did we do? You guys learn anything? Thank you, Alice, my backup partner. Are we good partners together? Don't be jealous. You two will have your partner consultants. All right. So there we go. Um, here is how you're going to transition, uh, winterize your skin and consultants. You get to shop at 50%. So you should have all of this on your shelf to get you this winter. And Carol, did you learn any new products from my presentation or from the other things that Alice shared? Um, but like I shared earlier was the emollient um, night cream, but the other products I've heard before and really love the shea butter. I, yeah, that's real nice. It's really nice. And, you know, that's just one of, you know, it has some partners, right? There's a shower gel and then a lotion. I just love this one because of the whip texture and it makes me feel extra special, extra queenly when I come out of the shower and I'm putting that on. And it's just, all of these are excellent for dry patches, dry skin, just any place that you're feeling like I can use, my skin is complaining. 
is itchy. Sometimes when we're finding our skin is itchy, it means that it's just needs to be exfoliated, first of all, and it needs to be hydrated. And we showed you a few that can help you get that winterizing your skin and staying hydrated during these dry winter months. Okay. So, hey, ladies, that brings us up to a wrap. I hope you had some fun. So let's go ahead and uh, should we raffle off some things, Alice? Sure. Um, We're going to give away some gift certificates. I think Carol has a pretty good chance of winning, eh? <laughs> yeah. And I don't know who Galaxy is. Galaxy S20 a consultant or a guest? Does anybody know? Consultant. 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 Thank, okay. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank, you. You, thank you. Okay. Hmm. All right. So Carol, what was your favorite product that you learned besides the one that you know? Was there something, a favorite product that you just love? Because, you know, you have to tell us one because that's kind of how the prize is going to go. I'm so like transparent. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carol, tell us the which one was cream. like. Which one? The night cream. Night cream. The night extra emollient night cream. Yes. Very good. Okay. So what we're going to do, uh, Carol, is we're going to make sure that your consultant gives you a $10 gift card so that you can enjoy your extra emollient night cream for joining us tonight and sharing with us how much you love the product and being such a great representative of the Mary Kay product. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Now, who's your consultant? Did you tell us who that was earlier? Yeah, it's Jamel. Jamel Jock. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jamel. Oh, she's one of the best. Oh, you're so lucky. She's probably going to hook you up with a few other things because that's how Jamel rolls. Okay, ladies. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad that you're popping in and enjoying these quick product trainings. Um, we're going to have our last mingle and jingle, right? Alice? Yes, Don't yes that, next Alice. Wednesday. Okay next Wednesday um, at eight o'clock. And uh, if you are, if you're wanting to see different products or you want us to continue with these Wednesday night briefs, let us know. We just thought we would do it because it was, I thought it was fun to jingle and mingle, right? I think I was missing my unit and my consultants. But if you think that this works and you wanna continue some product training on, on Wednesday night at eight o'clock, we're here for you. And we can get other people to do the training too. But I know you love Alice and I, so I won't take that personally. And of course, we can get Amber of with you 100%. We do. And we could pull Amber in and benefit from some of her awesome training as well. So with that, ladies, thank you again for joining. Congratulations, Carol. Ladies, we'll check you out at the Mangle and Jingle. And then many of you will see at many events the next couple of days. There's a lot of events going on. Yep. So thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.